Okay, hi guys, this is Chris from the Fabric Center again. Today I'm gonna do something a little different. Today I wanna talk about two products that we carry at the store, the Scan and Cut. And I have the Scan and Cut DX, and then also the same machine, the Disney Scan and Cut that has all the Disney images loaded in it. So if you take a look up here, with the Scan and Cut, you can do so many different things. You can do applique, you can do intricate piecing, cutting for intricate piecing. Um, you can do something as small and thin as those little branches on that tree. It also has the ability to cut vinyl. So this was all cut in vinyl. You can make your own custom cards. For instance, another card here. So we can do all sorts of fun stuff with the, with the scan and cut. So to start out, let's say for instance, I wanna do applique. And this table runner was one of the very first things I ever did. And that was a table runner that I got out of this Art to Heart book. Now, it's a cute table runner. I had kind of put off doing it just because the traditional math method of doing applique, I'd get bored with it before I ever got to the stitching part. By the time I did all the tracing that I had to do, do the um, pressing on the back side of the fabric, cutting it out by hand, pulling away the, um, the um, heat and bond or whatever that I was doing, then I lost interest before I ever got to the stitching part of the machine. So when the scan and cut came out, then that completely changed my whole attitude about applique because it made that part a lot more fun. So let's say for instance, I was gonna work on that table runner and inside any book about applique, you're gonna find all your shapes. So let's say that this is the shape that I needed to do. So all I did was I took this master copy to my, um, to my printer at home and made a copy of this portion of the sheet. Then I was able to cut this out here and I could even use a little white out to get rid of the lines that I didn't need. So I made myself a working copy for this. So then once I had my copy and we're gonna pretend this is it and isn't that gorgeous, gorgeous. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna take my working copy and I'm just gonna place it on the mat. Then we'll load the mat in. There we go. And the function I want to do is scan. So I'm gonna select scan. I don't wanna cut this flower out at this point. I wanna to scan to cut data. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll hit start. Now, this is a scanner, not just a cutter. So I am able to take my picture, scan it in, and my scan and cut will actually take a picture of what is in, um, what is on the sheet. So it's thinking about that for just a second. And there's my image, all right? So I'm going to select this guy right here, and what that lets me do is get rid of any extra stuff that it picked up. For instance, I'm gonna bring this down a little bit again. If you look closely, it picked up the edge of my, uh, of my paper. So I don't wanna cut that. I don't want it to see any of that. So I am just gonna zero in right into the flower. I'm gonna hit preview. And then I'm going to say, okay, looks good to me. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now I want to save this image. So if I was hooked up to my wireless um, system, I could send it back to my computer. I could save it onto a USB jump drive, but I'm going to choose to save it to the scanner itself. So I'll just select that. And now it is saving. and it is um, saved as a file in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay. So now we'll just go home. <coughs> now I want it to retrieve data. So I'm gonna go to retrieve. I will retrieve it from where I saved it. And there is my flower. Now I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay. 
and I can drag and drop that flower wherever I want. Now, perhaps I need, like I um, on my table runner, maybe I need many of these. Maybe I need three or four of them. <coughs> I could go to Edit, Object Edit, and then I can tell it. I'm going to hit plus. Maybe I need three. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And then I can place them where I need them to be. Now, maybe I need a couple this size, but I need one smaller. I can select one of them. I can go to my size key and I can make it smaller if I choose to. I can mirror image any of these items and I can even draw them if I don't want to cut. Now, I'm going to cut them. So I'm going to say OK. And I can arrange them where I need them on the screen and it really doesn't matter where I arrange them. So what I'm going to do next is I'm all good here. I'm going to say OK. So now I'm ready to get my applique fabric and scan it in so I can place these images where I want them to be. Okay. Here's my applique fabric and I've already applied my um, adhesive to the back. So I prefer to use heat and bond. Now there's a couple different ways that you can do this, but I prefer to apply the heat and bond and then take off the protected paper and then go ahead and just apply that onto my, um, my mat just like so. So I'm going to take this off. Now the Scan and Cut comes with two different mats. It comes with, hmm, it comes with my standard mat here, which is very, very sticky. And then it also comes with a second mat, which is my low tack mat. Now, I would prefer to use the low tack mat for this because this has already got some stickiness to it. So I'm going to go ahead and just take this mat off and then I'll put my other mat on. Two mats. So this is my standard mat, which is super sticky. And then this is my low tack mat. My low tack mat works best for when, I, um, it, or when I'm working with my applique projects, because with the heat and bond or whatever um, adhesive you're using, it has a little bit of a sticky property to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just place it on the mat. I don't care where I place it. I'm going to go ahead and load in my mat. Okay, so now I need to make sure that my designs are in an area that are going to be cut. So again, this is a scanner. I'm going to hit my scanner button and hit start. So now it's taking a picture of what's going on in my mat and I'm going to see my fabric come up right on the screen. Okay, so then here is my design. Now, so that I can see it a little bit easier, I'm going to dull my background just a little bit. There we go. So now it may not be as easy for you guys to see there, but I can arrange my three flowers to wherever I need it to be on this fabric here. So I can easily see it's going to cut it. Okay, I can even, if I choose, zoom in and fussy cut. So if I wanted a specific part of this design to be in that flower, I can fussy cut also. Now, both scan and cuts come with two different cutting devices. The gold is for fabric, the black is for vinyls, uh, uh, paper, that kind of thing. So I'm going to use my gold blade. Now, one of the beauties of both of these scanners is that I don't need to set my blade depth. It does it for me. So I can just go ahead, slip this baby in here. I know I'm going to be covered here. I'm going to say OK. Now it asks me, what do you want to do? I'm going to select and I want to cut. So then we're ready to go. I'm going to hit start and you'll see it's going to do a little calibration there and now it's cutting. Another calibration, now it'll start cutting. Now, if any of you have had a scan and cut in the past, listen to how quiet this thing is. It is amazing how quiet it is. And I love how quickly it cuts, much faster than me. Thank you. 
And then what's really cool is that when it's done, you don't think it's done a thing until you pull this baby up. can give these just a little bit of pop off of here and they are perfectly cut ready for me to fuse down on my background fabric and go ahead and stitch around them so this is really makes life a lot easier for when you're doing applique and again it uh, you can see two small things here but again if you take a look at say my chickens look at how small those cuts are that would have not been fun to do by hand and that was completely done by the scan and cut along with those little tiny eyes i had it i had it cut the eyes too so um that project was just a lot and a lot of fun so um and because my scan and cut made it easy now another project you might want to do is um since we're talking to quilters a lot of you are quilters um it has actually quilt blocks programmed in so I know if you're doing a project, say, like a Dresden plate, a lot of cutting, a lot of precise cutting is um, done for a Dresden plate. So, so that you don't have to go out and buy a cutter and maybe a $75 or $80 die for one quilt that you're going to make, a scan and cut can actually cut all the pieces that you need for your quilt. So, I'm going to go back home and I'm going to go to my patterns and we'll go to the next page and I'm gonna go to my quilt blocks. Now I have quilt blocks here and I have quilt blocks here. And I'm gonna go to the one um, with the sunbonnet suit because that's where we'll find the Dresden plate. So I'm going to select the Dresden plate and I can then tell it what size I want that Dresden plate to be. So I'm gonna increase the size. So this is the total size of the plate so I can make it just as big as I want to be. And I'm gonna say, okay. So now it's a three color Dresden plate plus the center. So I'm gonna tell it that I wanna cut petal A. So I'm gonna select A. It highlights what part of the design I'm going to be cutting and I'm gonna say okay. So it says you're gonna be doing four, so I am going to set that. Now, I can see the background of my previous scan. I am ready to, I'm gonna take my fabric, and this is what I'm cutting my first petal out of. So this is just a regular cotton fabric that I have pre-treated with a product called Tyrial Magic. What Tyrial Magic does is it, um, it stiffens the fabric up so that the machine will cut the fabric and not push it around. So I get a nice, clean, crisp cut. So I'm gonna lay down my pink fabric for my first petal and I'm gonna scan it in. So I'm gonna hit my scanner, hit start. And it's gonna go ahead and, oh, it shifted a little bit on me. So since this is my mat from home and I've used it quite a bit, it isn't really sticky enough for this application. So that's why I have the stickier mat. That's why I um, have my standard mat. So I'm just going to go ahead and scan him in. No biggie. Then we'll go ahead. We'll go ahead, position my fabric in place. And I'm going to hit the scanner again and scan that in. Okay, so now I see the background of my pink fabric. I see the petals. Then I can arrange them how I want them to be. Like so. I'm gonna make sure that I'm good and secure here. Now I still have my fabric blade in. I'm gonna say okay. I'm gonna select cut again. 
and hit start. Again, it's calibrating. And it's going to cut each one of those blades for me. Pretty darn fast. Then, here is all my little blades. Now, oh, I missed a little corner. We can just give that a little tug. There we go. And then there's my first cut. So then it tells me here, select the next part. I will go ahead and do that. I'll select B and I can do the next color. Matter of fact, if I was a little bit more organized, I could have three rows. I could have my pink row, I could have my yellow row, I could have my blue row, and I could cut all 12 of them in the, in the three different colors all at one time. Now, you'll see that this is pretty crisp, and with that Tereal Magic, I can determine how crisp I want this to be. So I was a little heavy-handed with the Tereal Magic, so this is fairly crisp, but it doesn't really need to be to get a, a beautiful cut. So then this is ready to piece, put together in my quilt, and then I have just the nicest Dresden plate, and I can repeat for as many plates as I want. So if we take a look, I'm gonna go back home, I'll go to my patterns, and again, I'm gonna to go to the second page. I had patterns underneath here, plus I, um, I had Sunbonnet Sue and Sam um, all programmed in, plus some flowers. Really, there's lots and lots and lots of cutting files programmed in here, um, ready for me to go that I can do applique. For instance, I can do a birthday thing very simply. If I want other quilt blocks, I can come here. These aren't just the only quilt blocks. Each one of these is a category of quilt blocks. So lots and lots of choices built right in the scan and cut itself. Now, I can also take a second step if I choose. And I, if I was going to be stitching this, I can tell it to add my quarter inch seam allowance to all these, which I probably should have done. And when it does that, then I can add another step that with either the air sileable or the water sileable pen that comes with the, either one of the scan and cuts, I can first draw my seam allowance on my fabric and then go back with my blade and cut it out. So I actually had the seam allowance drawn right on each one of the blades. So for accuracy, that makes life much, much easier. So now, so that's a little bit about the fabric cutting I can do. Now for you crafters, then it, I can also do a lot with the paper. For instance, with everything going on right now, maybe you were planning a trip this year to Disney. Well, this is a built-in Disney design in the scan and cut. I was able to cut it, back it here, and then a nice surprise for a young one in, in your life to let them know that, well, maybe we're gonna make it next year instead. So kind of fun there. To find those, I'm gonna go home. I'll go back to my patterns. I'll go to Mickey. And then here are the categories of the designs. So for instance, I can go to the princesses and that's where I found Cinderella or there is Cinderella's coach. I've just got lots and lots of Disney, Disney designs to choose from that um, can be drawn or cut. So then I, all I need to do is select one. There it is say okay it gives me the size i'll set it then i'm going to just drag it over because then i can go to edit i'm going to edit the object we will make it larger whoop and there we go so I can cut this like I did, or I could draw it. So the scan and cut also comes with a pen holder, and the pen holder flips up like so, and they have their own set 
of pens that slips into this pen okay, holder. So that's what I them. used okay. to do this fun little easy birthday card. Not you don't want to go into the store to pick out a card. You can stay home and make one just as much fun. Now, if this is a little limiting, which I thought it was too, that I only have five different colors, this Scan and Cut, the um, Disney Scan and Cut, also comes with a holder for other pens. So if you want to say go to an art supply store and get a fun um, uh, gel pen, get a metallic pen, this machine, or uh, this holder can accommodate other pens besides the ones that come with it. And the Disney Scan and Cut comes with this. Now, this is also an extra, extra accessory that can be purchased with the Scan and Cut 255DX. So it doesn't come with this one, it does come with this one. So that's pretty fun. Now, as I mentioned earlier, if I want to do paper or vinyl, this is my uh, this is my cutter for that. So this simply flips up. We bring this out. Your zip code where your bill goes. Bring that in give that just a drop. Yes. So then, if I wanted to cut my paper, again, the, the process is gonna be the same. I'm gonna say, okay, I will scan that in, and then it will be ready to cut. So, so. When I am cutting with paper, it always gives me two Im images. It gives me my negative in the image and it gives me my positive image. So that's kind of fun too. I can do things with this. I can make stick-ons for a wall. I can put it on a window. And then this way, just like I did this other card, I can put a backing on it and I could make a card. So there's lots of different ways crafters still go crazy with this. But actually, I'm not much of a crafter. I'm really more, again, of a, um, of a um, sewer and a quilter. And it just makes that so much easier. Um, you'll see some of the projects. Um, Kaylee has um, brought this in for me so you can do iron on uh, iron on vinyl projects makes life so simple um, this is another vinyl project here on the round so really a nice gift for a wedding we've also done vinyl here on the cup so lots of quick and easy projects uh, that you can complete very simply now one of the other things that you can do with this is that you can um, use the rhinestone um, option. The Scan and Cut Disney model comes with a starter rhinestone kit. So that starter kit consists of some rhinestones to start out with. And how this works is there is a um, free program that comes with the um, it comes with the scanners that you can access online. It's called Scan and Cut Canvas. In Scan and Cut Canvas, you can decide your project. You can tell it that you want to fill it with rhinestones. You want to outline it with the rhinestones. You tell it the size of rhinestones that you're going to do, and then it actually cuts a um, narrow, a thin um, felt almost, and it cuts the circles for the rhinestones to nestle in. Once you put the, the rhinestones where they belong, a double stick tape then goes down on that little felt mat. Your rhinestones are going to stick to it so that you can pull that away and then iron it onto the garment that you want the, um, the rhinestones to be on. So not only can you set that up in Scan and Cut Canvas, here in the Disney machine, if I go to my patterns and I go to the mouse, it actually has some rhinestone designs ready to go. So if I go to this um, of this one of Minnie, then there she is, and it is ready to cut those circles out that then I can add my rhinestones and add that outline of Minnie Mouse too, and that's built right into the scan and cut also. So a couple, and this is only the tip of the iceberg of what we can do with our scan and cuts. They are really, truly amazing. Um, again, both of them come with two mats. Both come with uh, the fabric cutter, the paper cutter, and also the holder for the standard pens. 
The Disney one comes with the Disney Designs programmed in. It also comes with the additional pen holder. One of the neatest things um, that it comes with, okay, and also again, the rhinestones, but it also comes with this nice case for holding all of the best tools for um, using with the cutters. So we have tweezers. Tweezers are nice when we have to pick off like little pieces of vinyl or our fabric off of the mat. Plus we had the little picking tool. We had the little, the scraper, um, the big the scraper here, and then the bigger one here for cleaning the mat. This will help us take any um, debris off the, uh, off the mat. So this deluxe set of tools also comes with the Disney Scan and Cut. So that's um, nice also. Um, we are running specials on them, just like anything else. You know, give the store a call for any more information that you'd like on them. We'd be happy to tell you about them. And we have um, special pricing on both of them. So nice to see you guys again and give us a call. 815-942-5715.